they are not serious enemies. Along the bottom, it leaves a trail in the sand. With its webbed feet, it paddles through the water. As they push the water back, it moves ahead. Notice the snapping turtle's small undershell. The bottom side is clean, while the top side is covered with algae. Snapping turtles usually carry leeches, which are parasites. The snapping turtle is really a land animal with lungs and must come to the surface for air. The turtle blinks its beady eyes. Each has two eyelids, poor eyesight. Notice that the turtle rises a little as its lungs get filled with air and that it sinks a little as it breathes out. In the water, the snapping turtle is a gentle creature. It has had enough air. These turtles eat small animals, but most of their diet may be water plants. The snapping turtle crawls out of the pond. On land, she trundles along slowly but surely. She always has her coat of armor, and when danger threatens, she draws her head and legs under the shell. Nearby, a painted turtle is also walking quietly along the shore. Its shell is clean, even on the top side. This is common with turtles that sun themselves regularly. The painted turtle is more nearly covered all around with shell than is the snapping turtle. Painted turtles are gentle at all times. Here they meet. They do not seem to be interested in each other. A snapping turtle may find a mate at any time during the summer. But she usually lays her eggs in early summer. Here she has found a good place to make a nest in the warm, loose soil. Snapping turtles usually lay from 20 to 60 eggs at one time each season. Actually, one to four minutes elapses between the laying of each egg. Notice how she uses a hind leg to arrange the egg in the nest. The eggs are round and about the size of a five cent piece. They are covered with a thin parchment-like shell. This snapping turtle is laying her 37th and last egg. Then she scoops soil over the eggs with her hind legs. She packs the dirt firmly over the eggs. With a final scoop of dirt, her work is finished. She walks away and leaves the eggs. Her step is somewhat unsteady. The eggs need no further care from her, only warmth from the sun. Mother snapping turtle has finished her most important duty and is on her way back to the pond. This looks like trouble. The turtle strikes with her powerful jaws. The dog is wise to keep his distance because a snap from the turtle's jaw could break his leg or nip off his nose. When she is angry, she will strike viciously at anything. A few evenings later, a skunk walks by the clearing where the snapping turtle laid her eggs. Soon the skunk discovers the nest of eggs. Skunks like eggs. The skunk quickly uncovers them with its front paws. This is going to be a feast. The skunk takes one egg and opens it, now to enjoy a big dinner. The skunk is startled. For the time being, the eggs are safe. Turtles are developing within the eggs. The heart is beating and the shell has started to form. 
Now three months have passed since Mother Turtle laid her eggs. One turtle egg is about to hatch. The young turtle pushes its way out of the shell with its head and legs. The membrane still surrounds the head. Now the young turtle is clear of the membrane down to the shoulders and gets its first gasp of air. The turtle kicks and pushes violently. Soon it will be out of the shell. The little turtle still has a large yolk sac on the underside. This serves as food for the turtle while still in the shell. It makes walking a little difficult. Even after hatching, the yolk sac continues to supply food to the young turtle for several days. For this reason, the young turtles do not hunt food for a while, but they do practice walking. There seems to be an urge to get to water. After a few days, some of the young snappers have found their way to the pond. Usually, the young snappers do not eat until they get into the water. A bullfrog sitting quietly nearby is not disturbed by the tiny snappers. There are also many bullfrog tadpoles in the pond. This young turtle is now in search of food. And here is a back swimmer. Ready? No, that one got away. Here is a dragonfly nymph. This one won't get away. The snapper uses its claws and jaws to tear its food. Mother snapping turtle passes by one of her offspring. Snapping turtles do not protect their young. The only way she might be interested in them would be as an appetizer to a good meal. This little fellow is really lucky. Here is a crayfish. The crayfish is also on the lookout for food. Snapping turtles wait for animal food to come to them. It looks as if the crayfish may lose a leg. If so, a new one will grow in its place. The crayfish gets away. The trees along the shore have lost their leaves. Cold weather is coming. The snapping turtle starts digging a burrow at the pond bottom. Here there is less change in temperature than on dry land and less chance for freezing. Even though the pond freezes over, the snapping turtle is below the frost line. All winter long, she hibernates in the bottom. Breathing and all other activities are almost stopped. A thick blanket of snow covers the shore and the ice. When spring comes again, and as the water becomes warmer, the snapping turtle begins to dig her way out from the burrow. Food will soon be plentiful in the pond. The snapping turtle's long winter hibernation is ended. She is one year older now, and is starting her round of activities again.